Hi folks, welcome back to Neeta's Indulgences. Today I'm excited to show you one of my favorite meals, favorite Kerala meals with you all. I'm making a root vegetable dish that pairs perfectly with a flavorful meat dish. These two dishes are staples in Kerala and bring back so many beautiful memories for me. So, what are we waiting for? Let's crack on with it. Our first dish is liver fry. Liver fry is a special Kerala dish marinated with liver and aromatic spices. We have 500 grams of liver. I have washed it minimum 10 times and the final wash is always with vinegar and then wash and cut it into small pieces. Now we'll start the marination process. We'll marinate with some spices and then uh, set it aside for 30 minutes. Firstly, uh, for the marination, let's add uh, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of chilli powder, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, one four teaspoon of pepper powder, salt, half a teaspoon, three to four cloves of garlic, one inch sliced ginger pieces, one tablespoon of vinegar. Let's mix this all together. I'm tearing few curry leaves. Marination process is very important, so marinate it at least a minimum of 30 minutes. Let's pressure cook the liver. It's been marinating for almost 45 minutes. You don't need water for this, but you can add a little bit of oil. So anyway, the water from the liver is going to come out. I'm adding in a little bit of oil. I'm going to make, give this a mix and close the lid. Wait for the steam. It's already coming. Now we'll wait for three whistles on high flame. After the first whistle, you can also uh, reduce the flame and then uh, you know wait for two more whistles. That's another option which you can do. So after four whistles, I'm going to open the cooker now. See, there's a lot of water here. So that's why you don't need to add any water to the liver. Okay, let's start with the frying of the liver now. So for this dish, you need to use coconut oil because that gives you a traditional uh, flavor to this dish. 2-3 to three tablespoon of coconut oil, add mustard seeds, roughly about a teaspoon, 1 teaspoon of ginger paste, 1 teaspoon of garlic, let's give this a good stir, keep the flame on low, we don't want to burn the ginger and garlic, okay, the aroma of the ginger garlic paste is coming, add uh, some shallots, or small onions. Now add two sliced onions. Saute this really well. We need the onions to brown a little bit. Add in some salt for the browning of the onions. Two crushed green chilies, some curry leaves. Give this all a good mix. One and a half tablespoon coriander powder. One teaspoon of chilli powder, but if you like more spice, please do add more uh, chilli powder. A pinch of turmeric powder, fennel powder, one teaspoon, garam masala, one teaspoon. Now let's saute the powders really well. Make sure not to burn them. Drizzle a little water because you don't want your masalas to be burned. Time to add our cooked liver. Now let's keep sauteing the liver. Add some oil. Because for frying, we need some oil. Get this gravy, it looks beautiful. The gravy is getting thickened now. Slowly, the liver is getting fried. It's all coming together. Season with some salt if required. Fry this liver on low flame. 
for about uh, 10 minutes we want the masalas to be nicely coated on the liver and nicely fried the liver is fried now this was the consistency that I was looking at I'm going to squeeze in half a lime now I'm going to add in a little bit of pepper and finally some curry leaves Give this all a good mix and we are done. Smells so nice. Kappa Ulartiyada is a traditional Kerala dish made with crushed ginger, garlic and grated coconut. This is one kilo of uh, kappa or cassava. I have cut it into small pieces. Add water. The water should be just above the cassava or the kappa. Add a little bit of turmeric and salt. I'm going to pressure cook this cassava until two whistles and then open and check if it is cooked. Okay, our cassava is cooked. Three whistles and it was done. Let's start with the making of the kappa ulartiyada. Add coconut oil, two to three tablespoons. Add mustard seeds. Time to add our small onions. Roughly about five to six uh, crushed small onions. Ten crushed garlic. Give this a good mix. A pinch of uh, turmeric, a pinch of salt, a teaspoon of red chilli flakes, add curry leaves, half cup of grated coconut, coconut is lightly toasted now, okay add the kappa now, the boiled and cooked kappa. We coat the grated coconut to the kappa. If you want, do add some more coconut oil. Add salt if required. Add some curry leaves. And if required, please add a little more of the coconut oil. And there you have it, our delicious kappa ulartiyada and liver fry. What a combination. Thanks to my mother for those lovely recipes. Hope you enjoyed making these dishes with me. If you like this video, then do give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. Until next time, happy cooking. Take care. Bye-bye.